to the other end. Watch Campbell the trail. The post. Watch Here's the trail. Oh! Yep, and a foul. Oh my goodness, J.D., you got to watch the trail shot. Watching the making out here of the next superstar that will arrive in the NBA. I mean, that is frightening. That is frightening. Watch this. He's 18 years old, people. He's 18. With the first pick in the 1992 NBA draft, the Orlando Magic selects Shaquille O'Neal from Louisiana State University. Rice falling away, won't go, O'Neal the rebound. Now the Magic with a final shot chance. O'Neal runs the floor, takes it all the way! Well, that blew my theory there because the Heat came down and threw up another quick shot. He is the first rookie to start in the NBA All-Star Game since Michael Jordan did so in 1985. Now just three months into his first NBA season, Shaquille O'Neal has exploded onto the scene and taken a place alongside Jordan. Puts it on the floor and stops anybody down. He brought the whole goal down. Goodness. He brought the whole thing down. Well, it broke off right on the on the fans there, on the hands there. A couple of steps this season. Here's Nicky Anderson Pass. rebound Shaquille. He knew he had the two people. Yeah, you might be right. Blocked by Shaquille. His 15th block of the ball game. Should have given the foul at half court. And the Magic win their 49th game of the year. They beat the team they had to beat tonight, 121 to 101. Shaquille O'Neal, a franchise record and personal record, 53 points, and he did not play. Steps through, finger roll, no, trickle off the iron. We're kind of upset. We didn't go as far as we would have liked to have gone. And I was a little bitter about that. So we just had to, you know, shake it off and just say, say to myself, we got to come back next year harder. That's been the score. 23rd or fourth offensive rebound. Penny hangs, no check, ball oh. Yes! My goodness. He hammered it off for 40. Oh. Boy. Penny. And Charlotte calls timeout. He should have just dribbled out the clock. It's all over and the Bulls' season comes to an end. Here at the United Center in the Orlando Magic gets the victory with 14 straight points. We came out, the fans were great. We just, you know, slept on the loss the other day. You know, we all, you know, met yesterday. The guys had dinner and we said, we're going to come out, play hard, try to win. I just wanted to, you know, come in tonight and give it all I got. And we did that. And we won. And we're on our way. I want to congratulate our team for not giving up. We were down 3-0. We could have easily gave up, but we didn't uh, you know, give up at all. And that's a sign of a good, strong team. And we're a young team, and I'm a young player, and I'll be in this position many more times. We didn't play real well before we won the game, and now we, know we can move on. Now, we can now talk about the Bulls, right? Tell me about the Bulls. Are you guys ready to get at them? Of course, they're a great team, and we're just going to go in there and just play hard. Even though we lost three years in a row, even though we got swept three years in a row, but it doesn't mean that we're finished. Everyone wants to be a winner, including me. So, of course, I'm disappointed with the season. I'm disappointed with my play. I asked Leonard not to involve me, and I don't want to hear numbers. When you think the deal is good, Leonard, and, I mean, because he knows the market. I mean, he's a lawyer. I mean, he's a marketing expert and all that. And I'm just waiting, and I just want a, a fair, good deal. The complexion of this team, as far as psychologically, changed a little bit. And the more you heard, whose team is it? Is it Shaq's team? Is it Penny's team? And that brings us to Shaquille O'Neal. Orlando wants him, the Lakers want him. The Tampa Tribune reports that Shaq turned down a seven-year, $119 million deal from the Magic. And ESPN has learned that the Lakers can now offer Shaq over $120 million. Bucks. And welcome the 50 greatest NBA players of all time. Unable to be here from the Los Angeles Lakers, number 34, Shaquille O'Neal. Four seconds. Shaquille, fade away. Yes! 
18 in the fourth quarter, and this one barely beat the buzzer to win it for the Lakers. Get the, get up, get a little bit upset about this. <laughs> oh, it's look, it's showtime. I, I've been hesitant to bring back the word showtime, but with 46 from Shaquille tonight. Great team. <clears throat> Always had a one-two punch. Isaiah and Lambeer, Magic and Kareem, Bird and Mikael. And I think uh, myself and Kobe Bryant will uh, uh, become our one-two punch. This is Shaq against Robinson. Drive, stop, slam, dunk. Wow. <laughs> Inbound to Shaq. Shaq's coming underneath. He's strong. He slam, dunks, basket, counts. Woo! Back to the other room. Watch Can't the play the post. Watch Here's the trail. Oh! Yep, and a foul. Oh my goodness, JD, you gotta watch the trail shot. And that's the final horn, and the sweep is complete. The Western King still reigns. The Utah Jazz are returning to the NBA Finals. Here's Shaq. Against Dudley Knight. Sean Elliott is fouled by Kobe Bryant. If this is the end, what does the future hold for the Lakers and for Kurt Rambis? The immediate future for Popovich and his Spurs, either the Trailblazers or the Jazz. They're doing very well. I think they're uh, obviously playing at a high level defensively, which is where championships are won. Uh, they have not been as efficient offensively every game out, but I think Phil Jackson can certainly live with that. Yeah, I'm just glad to be here with uh, all the other great players, and you know we had a good time today. So now who gets to take the trophy home? He got one of those rings, so I'm taking this. <laughs> get a chance to get it back to Shaq. Kobe underneath gives to Shaq. Shaq slammed out. Oh, man. 61 points. Shaq's got 21. He's dribbling the ball. He knows what's going on in his 28th birthday. End of the COVID. This equals Miami's biggest lead. Jack inside, drives it up, and sends it inside. Watch so all powerful is O'Neal. Watch all the defenders right here. Alonzo's got two fouls, can't do anything. There's three guys in there, but they're just kind of... You've had a dominating MVP season. Number one in scoring, congratulations, 1999-2000 NBA MVP Shaquille O'Neal. As they round the Phoenix Suns by a score of 87 to 65 and eliminate the Suns four games to one and move on to the Western Conference Finals. Portland have three timeouts left. The Lakers have two. Bryant to shot. Kobe Bryant's two free throws and then a jumper gave the Lakers a four-point lead. Looking to throw it in against Shaq. Reggie turns and pumps it up. Off the rim and the Lakers are the 2000 NBA champions. The tension between the two superstars was destroying the fabric of the team. What had begun as a championship saga had become the league's leading soap opera. Such a shame, you know, the two great players can't get along. It goes to Shaq again. Shaq will give us Ben Burby, won't he? No, turn two, missed from 12 feet. Rebound underneath. Oh, what a pass to Shaq! And Shaq slam dunks. Behind the neck pass by Kobe Bryant. The Los Angeles Lakers running the table for the first three rounds of the playoffs. 19 straight wins. 11-0 in the postseason. Their third consecutive sweep. Fabulous Lakers will make it a second straight NBA crowd. Finish with a 15 and 1 run. The best all time playoff winning percentage in the history of the league. It's a crossover move from the big guy. He dribbled right. Oh, Shame. Change of direction. Dribble. Listen to the crowd. Break me off a little something with the crossover. <laughs> Nails him to the floor. 
the Los Angeles Lakers winning here in Sacramento in overtime, 112 to 106 in one half. A magnificent seven-game series. The Los Angeles Lakers have made it three straight NBA championships. They wrap it up in the four-game sweep by beating the Nets. You got to have a big man or you can't win a championship. And right now the Lakers come in limping because they don't have not only their big man, but one of their other starters as well. When you miss two starters, you're going to have situations last night, a disheveled performance for Los Angeles. Fisher on the bench. Finally, a road team in this series. A road team in this series wins one, and it happens to be San Antonio, and they do it in dramatic fashion over the three-time defending champion Lakers, 110-82. to Two of the greatest players the game has ever seen. The addition of Gary Payton and Carl Malone to a team just one year removed from its third NBA title in as many years gave L.A. what many in the media called the greatest team ever assembled. When do you believe the friction with you and Kobe actually developed? I don't know, and I don't care. You don't have to like me. But most of the people, if you ask them about me, they really like me. So if you don't like me, there might be something wrong with you. The star of stars is the MVP of the 2004 All-Star Game with 24 points and 11 rebounds. None other than the Lakers' Shaquille O'Neal. Kobe knocks it away and comes up with a steal. Shaq again, great possession, stuffs it, and a foul is called. Oh, the Collins was trying to protect yeah. Shaq that time, and then Shaquille lost his balance and fell. All three experts going with the Lakers. Let's recap here. We're going to hold all these gentlemen to their picks. Jim Spinarco going Lakers in six, Frank also in six games, and Fred Carter just absolutely cruel saying that the Lakers are going to sweep this series after all that hard work. That the Detroit Pistons have just shocked the Los Angeles Lakers. 187 to win the NBA title. I said at the end of the year that I wanted to be on a team. It's a team. It doesn't matter whose team it was. I just wanted to be on a team. I wanted things to go right. I wanted things like I wanted things to go like they were supposed to go. I know you guys are probably going to start talking about whose team is it. I'm letting you know now it's Dwayne Wade's team. He's that type of guard that could uh, uh, lead us and do good things. And I'm just his big brother, and I'm just here to back him up. So this is Dwayne Wade's team. Man has come with everything today. Oh, oh my! Oh, my. Oh, my. Daddy's home, and he's hungry. Kiel O'Neal's just not quite the same player as he was before the thigh injury. So right now, they're trying to monitor Shaq as best they can and keep him on the floor for positive bursts. The Detroit Pistons, coming from behind in the final minutes, have defeated the Miami Heat 88-82 to in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Final. O'Neal thought he was fouled. Henderson is stripped by... Oh, he's hit by Pavlovich. No foul. Oh, for the Heat. Their stars have played big. Their half-court defense has been excellent. Their defense of rebounding, outstanding. Shaquille O'Neal with another strong play, but he had plenty of help. Why is this one number four for you? Why is this one so special? I'm not really worried about that. You know, I'm just, you know, here to, you know, represent my family and, you know, play the game. And, you know, just try to be the best player ever. Now I got four, so now I can start working on number five. And they asked Kevin Lottery after the first couple of days. There's a lob! And oh, Shaquille O'Neal <laughs> brought the house down in overtime. Woo! Dwayne Wade was the star of this league. He hurt his shoulder, couldn't come back to his old form. The Baby Bulls grew up. He'll be a new champion in the NBA. The Chicago Bulls have eliminated the Miami Heat, swept them in four. Be there every day early before and after practice, doing whatever it takes to keep me going for the next 10 years. And I look forward to getting my next. That's right. 
uh, 200 million for two years extension. <laughs> to the basket and then catch the ball. Well, you got 29 games to work this out. And there's the first one. And one with DJ Binga in for defense. And O'Neal fired up about the dunk. Hacking O'Neal and those bad free throw shoes when you're ahead. I think it makes it a lot harder to come back on. My GM from last year, Daryl Morey, taught me that. O'Neal misses that one. One of the most dominant players in the history of the NBA from your Phoenix Suns, the big Shaq this himself, Shaquille O'Neal. Barnes, Richardson, O'Neal, and Tucker. Backdoor off. Shaq still got some lift. Oh, the diesel goes up and delivers with a two hand slam right down the highway. Look at Shaq raise for the lob. That was beautifully thrown in there. Back on SportsCenter with breaking news. The Cleveland Cavaliers, Phoenix Suns, agreeing to a trade for Shaquille O'Neal, sending Shaq to Cleveland in exchange for Sasha Pavlovich and Ben Wallace. Shot won't go. O'Neal, the offensive rebound. A couple of fakes and throws it down right on top of Dwight Howard. I will give Shaq credit for this. As opposed to when he was a young guy looking to absolutely destroy. And that's it. The Boston Celtics with the huge upset. They advance to the conference finals. And LeBron James' season is over. Is his career in Cleveland over? Shaquille O'Neal is on the move again, signing with the Boston Celtics for two years and about $3 million. The Celtics become the big center's fourth team in as many seasons and sixth in his 18-year NBA career. Celtics got numbers now the other way. Throwing it up to Shaq! His first attempt, oh, with a reverse from Shaquille O'Neal. Looking at Shaq run up the floor, you can tell he's nowhere near 100%. That's a After 19 years, I'm announcing my retirement from professional basketball. I'm going to miss the competition, the camaraderie, the friendship, the fans, joking with the media, and I'm really going to miss the free throws. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Love you guys. Appreciate it. Can you dig it?